Boy, I gotta tell you, <clears throat> let me just take this opportunity to apologize to uh, countless millions of viewers of this program last night who were cheated out of one of the classic comedy bits, well, according to the New York Times, they said, of the 1900s. <laughs> um, last night, because of a dastardly computer failure, Americans in the eastern two-third region of this country missed an epic comedy classic. Um, we don't have time to recreate the whole thing for you. Briefly, I'll just show you what, uh, what you missed. Uh, come on in here, Eric. Uh, it was about how to survive uh, in New York City and things you could do to uh, protect yourself. And so uh, this was a, an additional kung fu arm that you put right in your suit. And uh, say, say you were walking, walking down the street and you were uh, eating a sandwich with one hand and, and maybe uh, combing your hair with another hand and you're attacked by ne'er-do-wells and thugs, you just do that. <laughs> People, people, thank you very much, Eric. People, people said to me that they laughed so hard, they laughed so hard their sides were actually aching from that one. Now, now this is how we, we paid the piece off. Now, you didn't get to see this because of a computer, a computer mistake. Uh, and what is your name, sir? Chris Elliott. Chris Elliott, and you're a staff member with uh, Late Night? Late Night with David Letterman. Yes, sir, Chris. And how long yesterday were you in this costume preparing for your network television debut? Uh, with fittings, rehearsals, about four, four and a half hours. Four, four and a half hours. And you were never seen by North Americans, were you? Never seen. Cut off. Yeah, a lot of disappointment at home, huh, Chris? Very much so. A what? lot of friends disappointed, yeah. too. What were, you, what were you made up to be, Chris? What were you going to be? Garbage. Going to be garbage <laughs> last night. And, Chris, how was that going to go? Basically, I was going to come out like this and just stand here like this. Yeah. And, and after the show, Chris, what did members of the studio audience say to you? They said it was the funniest thing they've seen in North America. Unbelievable, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? You did not get to see this at home because of a computer malfunction. Thank you very much, Mr. Chris Elliott. We've known our next guest for a long, long time, and he's one of our favorites around here. Uh, really, really, I've always said this, the funniest man on television. He stars in a new uh, series entitled Shit's Creek. Ah, Can't that's lose. right, Shit's Creek, How are you going to lose with a title like that? Shit's Get Creek. Get out of here. Let me just say it one more time, Shit's Creek. <laughs> it premieres to tomorrow night at 10 p.m. on Pop TV. Chris Elliott, everybody. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's Honestly, nice. So do you. Yeah, you look great also. What, what are you doing? I, I'm, you're lifting I'm, weights. No, you're I'm dieting. I'm lifting weights. I'm yeah. dieting. I'm doing all of that. You look fantastic. Thank you. So do you. You look the no, same as you looked when I first started working No, that's with you, not true, but it's always... It doesn't quite pass the smell test with me. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, no, it looks great. How, uh, how have you been, Chris? I've been good. You yeah. know, I, just before uh, I came out here, I heard you intro me, and I, I, it occurred to me that you and I, we started together, I don't know, like 30 years ago, mm -hmm, over 30 years ago. We were both young, we both had uh, dreams, and we had uh, stars in our eyes, maybe, and we both, you know, kept plugging away and, and climbing that, that ladder there, and uh, I think we've done pretty darn good. I mean, look at, look at you. I mean, you're you about to leave here, you know, you're a television icon, oh, no, adored really. by billions, and uh, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Well, thank and, you. Uh, nice of you to say that. Sure. And, uh... I'm on the uh, pop network with a show <laughs> called Shit's Creek. <laughs> so I, yeah. I think we, uh, we, we, oh, no, we no. both achieved our dreams. Oh, yeah. Which is really, 
it's, uh, the really work speaks for itself. It really you have does. An enviable body of work. Uh, absolutely. Tell us, uh, tell us about the show. I'm the show, I'm actually very proud of the you show. You and Eugene Levy and Eugene's son, I believe. Uh, Dan right. Levy and Eugene created it, and Catherine O'Hara oh, and Eugene very, Levy what are in it. What a funny it. group and of people. Uh, on Paul's this, buddies. Really funny. Yeah, Paul's buddies yeah, and uh, heroes of mine. It's a show about a very rich family that loses everything, and they have to move. They can only afford to live in the small town that the father, played by Eugene Levy, had bought as a joke for his son many years earlier, and the town is called Shit's Creek, mm -hmm. and uh, I play the mayor rolling shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, where, where did they uh, film the program? Uh, actually, up in Toronto. Is in that right? Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. um, and that was fun. Uh, and and, to do and that. in addition to the new television uh, program on, mm -hmm. uh, I want to restate this on Pop TV. On the Pop Network. Yeah, Pop Network. Mm -hmm. uh, you're in a, a film. Yeah, yeah, it's a with, big, uh, it's with, uh, uh, Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. Yeah, yeah. No, How was uh, that? Was it fun? It was, well, I always find things to complain about wherever I work. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> no, he was, he was, he was per great to work with, you know. But, I, no, I'll tell you, he did become kind of a pain in the ass because, well, <clears throat> you know me. You know after a day of shooting, I like to kind of get all dressed up and, you know, go out, put on my, you know, you know uh, my, my pork pie hat. I'm sorry, and, you're, uh, you're, you're <clears throat> pork pie? Pie Pork pie hat is what I put on. So you don't know what that is? No. Okay, Dave, crack a book every now and then, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. There's a whole other world out there besides your Montana hot tub. <laughs> I'll look Any, that up. Anyway, I'll I would like Google to go. That. I used to, you know, go out to the bars after I would shoot, and and you know, Hugh was always like, "Can I go too?" And and you know, so we go to the bars, and you know, of of, of course, the you know, ladies would all swarm around me, and uh, <laughs> and then I I get this, you know, tug on my elbow, and I turn around, and it's just little Hugh Grant. And he's going, I have to introduce this oh, little guy. He said, "Hi, I'm little Hugh Grant. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Stupid <laughs> baby. Hi, I'm little. Yeah, that, Hugh that's Grant. his opening that's line." That's what he would say. But I realized he was just using me to get laid. So yeah. That was his <laughs> That's too bad. I yeah. want to show this picture of uh, you and uh, Eugene. Oh, my God. I thought that you, here are the two oh, yeah, funniest people. Oh, yeah, there we people. are. There you put yeah. them. Uh, that's it. That's all you that's, need right that's there. me, Eugene, and yeah. his eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, are those eyebrows uh, special effects? They, you know, they have a mind of their own. They really do. <laughs> <laughs> just like, and... Uh, and they kind of upstage you every now and then. They just kind of go off and just start, uh -huh. you know, doing yeah. this thing. And you're start like, what moving. the hell is going on with your eyebrows? And it's like, I can't stop that. <laughs> moving, uh, moving but anyway, I, you know, Dave, I, I know we need to wrap this up, but I want to say this now. Um, you, this actually is uh, my last appearance with you. On, oh, really? I don't know that you were are, aware of that. Are you not feeling is, well? <laughs> no, but I, I really doubt I'll have anything to plug before you're off the air again. But... Um, <laughs> But, uh, well, that's, that's touching. So, yeah, so this is it. But, uh, and I honestly sort of personally wish you would reconsider this. Um, mm -hmm. Don't we think this is premature? Okay, I'll think it over. I'll think no, it over. you've got at least... All right, that's enough. Yeah, that's... Yeah. It's not... I mean, you know, I think you've got at least two or three years before you start getting goofy like Regis Philbin, you know? And that's, <laughs> that's the fun stuff. That's what yeah, we wanted to it, see, yeah, you know? Yeah, sure, when the I get audience, a little You know, the, America loves a train wreck, <laughs> you know? And that would be... <laughs> I miss that, but no, I no. I, I wish Darn you luck. It. I know it's well, going to be a, uh, a big change for yeah. you. And uh, now, what are, if, are you, any advice for a guy who's retired? Well, if you need any help in the old uh, sitting around the house with the old lady doing absolutely nothing all day department, yeah, I'm you, perfectly you, happy, okay, happy I may with give that. Okay, I'm going to you a call on that. Yeah, one. sure. No, yeah. I'm an expert in that department. <laughs> Uh, no, you're going you're gonna to do great, and I do actually, with the audience here, do want to just say thank you sincerely nice. for everything. You, okay. this man, you can edit this out, I don't care, gave me my start in the business, and uh, you have been my biggest supporter. You have been my uh, mentor. I have learned so much from you. I met my wife at, uh, through you. I, I have two beautiful children. Um, thanks to that, and um, everything that I have is thanks to you. Well, you're and, and way I have a too career. generous. <laughs> it's absolutely you're true. The funniest, I, funniest man I've ever worked with. And I'm going to miss you. And uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm, I'm, I've got the Boehner disease here. <clears throat> But uh, I am going to miss well, you. Well, thank you, Alan. Thank you. So, I, I hope um, to see you from time to time.
Okay, so that's all I have. To you say. have a. I, but there is something I would like to sing. What, oh, you have a song. Yeah, if you want. Oh, he's got a mind. song. Is that all right, Paul? Paul? Chris, no, that sure. would be great. Those schoolgirl days of biting nails and telling tales are gone. But in my mind, I know they will, will still live on and on. But how do you thank someone who has taken you from crayons to perfume? It isn't easy, but I'll try. If you wanted the sky, I would ride across the sky in letters that would soar a thousand feet. Thought closing books and long last looks are done. No more looks, Dave. All right, I'll give you one more. And as I leave, well, I know that I'm leaving my very best friend. A friend who taught me right from wrong And weak from strong That's a lot to learn What? What can I give you in return? If you wanted the moon I would try to make a start But I would rather you let me give you my heart Today, with love. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Chris. Thanks a lot. That was awful. <laughs> we'll be right back with Rihanna Giddens.